Hi, right, welcome to show 48. Howdy there. In a couple of weeks and we're one year old. Yeah, could you believe that? So we thought we'd start with a bit of a party tune. That's right, a nice bit of a Bradley disco. Yeah, this is uh, Tobiko Jones, Can't Live Without Your Love. Uh, this is a uh, sort of reissue, re-edit. It's all up. Some gimme gimme. Um, this one was quite out in 2007. I've got this one as well. Though, so. Nice. A lovely track, lovely track. Uh, you know, me and Brad do like to uh, get down to our funky stuff and uh, swerve to our disco tunes. And, uh, and this one is no different. No, no different. So we have got a, a nice packed show for you uh, today uh, with some cracking little 45s and uh, uh, tons of break beats and, uh, yeah, 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 and a nice little uh, theme at the end as well, as ever. Yep. Just two of us today, just in case you're looking down, no tough that isn't there. No, that's, that's right, yeah. yeah you can see. Yeah, he did fall through the floor, that's what was it. Yeah, he's six foot four. <laughs> <laughs> he was on his knees. <laughs> Bless him. Oh, yes. But, uh, moving on. Moving on. <laughs> Yeah, now to our 45 selection. We've got about five of those today. And this is a, a lovely uh, piece by Five Miles Out called Super Sweet Girl of Mine. Uh, there was a US press, which is worth a big load of money, I think. And this is a UK uh, pressing on Action Records. Um, 73, 74, 73. I was darn well right this time. Super yeah, you were both. No, 74, I was born in 74. Wicked tune. Yeah, great, great tune until it gets in your head. Yeah, really, really nice. Really nice. Yeah, it's uh, peeing down with rain outside, but uh, it's nice and hot and funky in here. And uh, I should say a big thank you to Martin Style Warrior for this awesome gunshot t shirt, uh, which is their debut single, which was uh, Battle Street Brawl. Battle Creek Brawl, sorry, uh, which I remember buying when it first came out and it blew me away. Uh, should have actually played it today, I didn't think of that actually, but it's too late now, so maybe we'll play it next week. Yeah, talking of t-shirts, I'm wearing a t-shirt, it's a bit of a, a pun on uh, Bob Dylan and where the, uh, where the show is filmed. Yeah, that's right, yeah, this is where we are, this is where we dwell, we kill them. Yeah. Uh, this was done by Proper Bal Ghetto. Yeah, this was done by Balcony Tees. Uh, Balcony Tees are the people who very kindly put together our excellent t shirt that Chris modelled last week. So thank you to Balcony Tees. Check them out online, I'll put the details up. They're in Uxbridge, which is just up the road. That's right. So cool. We should not really be giving away the location of the shed too much. But, what you know, are we? Nah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, nice tune. Yeah, wicked tune. I know you're for and another nice bit of uh, uh, UK funk coming up next. So from this gorgeous little slab to this. And the break beats start here. Yeah, this is uh, FBI by FBI. Yeah. Uh, it's British, yeah, 1976. Uh, I think it stands for Folk Blues Incorporated or something like that. Uh, 1976 on Good Earth Records, uh, nice little seven inch this. Good album as well. So just to show that the Brits did have some funk. Well, we're here. <laughs> yeah, it's a great show. Yeah. And uh, as we are plugging stuff, I have to say another massive thank you and shout out to Mr. Bongo, who uh, sent us some uh, amazing CDs of uh, all of their stuff that's out at the moment. My God, a wealth, a wealth of amazing stuff from South America and all over the place. Really, really good. So we're going to be plugging them uh, as much as we can. Yeah, big up Mr. Bongo. Yeah, thank you. Sister Punk. So there's nothing wrong with loving a man twice your age, depending on your age. Yeah, that is. Yeah, this is Candy Staten. <laughs> I'd rather be an old man's sweetheart. That's <laughs> what so my girlfriend says to me. Yeah, and my wife. <laughs> Wicked tune. Oh, 
away, won't they? Yeah. I might say it too. <laughs> yeah, this is 1969. I think it's either on her first or second album. But obviously, you know, she went on to become a bit of a disco diva with Young Hearts Run Free and also uh, Candy Stand in the Source. Uh, you know, that big sort of like disco and then rave anthem as well. This was cheekily sampled by a group called The Assemblers. I wonder who they were. About seven years ago. Maybe one day we'll play some. Maybe, well. maybe, maybe we will. This is something I'm maybe going to try and pronounce. This is the uh, oh. Mustafa Oskeb Orchestra. What's the track called? The track is called Dolana. And oh, wow. And the whole album is packed full of funk and beats of the highest quality. Um, the original is very hard to find and uh, I won't pretend that this is the original. This is the Finders Keepers uh, reissue, uh, lovingly put together. Uh, it's so, so good. Yeah, absolutely packed. Quick, honestly, yeah. hard to pick a tune to play, but so we can not play this one. Wicked, such a good album. Uh, does it say when they actually did put this out? Oh no, this was back in 2006, so a little while ago now. But I think even this is actually sort of creeping up to about the 30 pound mark on Discogs. Uh, well worth it, I reckon. And this ain't even our break of the week. Yeah, so source out this. Uh, what a great cover. A monkey. Started this. No, no, we didn't have a take two on this one at all. Uh, but this is a wicked little uh, album that I picked up uh, in Notting Hill Music and Video Exchange in their new place uh, last week. Six pounds. Didn't even know what it was. I just took a bit of a punt on it. Uh, but this is Bob Emery and Greg Bublinski, the Tortured Prophet. It's like a bit of free jazz. 1975 on um, Meridian Records. It's so nice. And I think, you know, because not in all they, they price up accordingly, it's got a bit of a tatty cover, so it was only six pounds, but uh, the record's clean, so wicked. Backing stuff. You may notice I've got changed. I'm wearing an uh, M Jazz t shirt, uh, not because Chris ripped my t shirt off during the break or anything like it's that. It's the Hulk, that's yeah. what it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is uh, Modern Urban Jazz, our good mate. Um, Tony uh, runs that label, it's a label of love man, he does a nice job and all that. He did send us a new track as well and all that, but it's so different from what we play, we, we probably wouldn't have fitted in with what we were playing there this week, but it's cool stuff if you're really into nice. yeah, 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 so it. Really nice, yeah, Justice and Metro and the track is Oxymoron, uh, there's four free tracks on here. But um, I'll put all the details up, so go and check them out, he does a really nice job, he really puts a lot of time into the art and the effort. Yeah. The female thing, you know, it's totally. done out of love, so there you go. Nice there you go. As well. Yeah, so cheers. Just about fits me, even though he called me King Tubby, which I'll never forgive him. <laughs> so, go cool, check them out. Nice. nice. Right, and uh, well, the drummer on this just keeps on going, really. But uh, yeah. so uh, from this, I can think we're going to go to a bit of hard rock, psych sort of stuff. Uh, so, anyway. <laughs> Wicked little tune this. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, this is uh, the illusion and uh, don't push it. <coughs> yeah, great. This is uh, seems to be a, a French pressing. Uh, it's just such a nice bit of psyche, sort of like rock. I'd uh, guesstimate it being about 69. On dot records. And there's a nice little break at the end of this as well. As everything's on this week, it seems. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Quality little track, this. Yeah, nice. Nice French 69. We do like a nice French 69. Not me and Brad. You know. oh, ah. <laughs> Quite a love going to pick up on that. <laughs> yeah, I know. You little tinker, Marty. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and yeah, when are you on. getting in the shed or are you too scared? <laughs> <laughs> Talking of 
reckon the people come in the shed next week, or is it next week? In the next couple of weeks, SD will be here. Yeah, uh, DJ SD. Yeah, we may have another couple of guests depending on bookings and things like that. Don't yeah, 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 yeah. I don't like to say, but there, there could be uh, a good old school UK hip hop DJ uh, coming in soon as well. Yeah. So uh, fingers crossed for that one. Yeah. Everybody's been on the phone. They don't want to go on top get their interviews in while they want to come to the show. Yeah, that's damn straight. But we need to sort out like a challenge. Probably because Jeremy Clarkson's a twat. Yeah, there's that, yeah. And all our stuff's real. Yeah. Here it comes. Can you push it now? Yeah, we surely can. Yeah, nice clattering uh, rock drum break there. And that's not even our break of the week. Our break of the week is coming up right now. That break of the week. Yeah. It might sound a little bit familiar. Yeah, I think it's uh, well sampled. Um, not the hardest record to, uh, by any means to find. Uh, but this is the last word. Um, funky and Sum, which is uh, James Brown and Fred Wesley. Uh, so basically the JBs. But wicked tune. I think the American press doesn't have this on the B side. This is the UK press on Polydor. Uh, to keep on bumping or something like that. So yeah, wicked. Yeah, 1974, a vintage year. Yeah, it's a nice, nice track, man. Solid, yeah. solid, tight. Yeah, I think. Yeah, it's funny, you know, because we, you know, we do a show like this. Sometimes you try too hard to play stuff that no one else has heard sometimes and I think that's a little bit elitist and we've probably neglected so many good tracks because of that really, you know, like James Brown, Isaac Hayes, you know what I mean, all of the, the biggies really. Yeah, so I mean, maybe, we don't go out to start as elitist, we just go out to try and find stuff that people may not have heard so they exactly, can experience yeah, yeah. Because uh, one thing that we ain't is elitist. Yeah. But the, um, Especially when we when we played Saturday Night Fever, that was important for people to hear that. We're staying alive. Staying alive, sorry, staying yeah. alive, yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks to life. Yeah, and the weird science sounds, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> people have got to hear this stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Anyway, talking the soundtracks that leads in nice leads us nicely into our theme of the week, which is a nice one. Yeah. ELO get funky. Ooh. Yeah, this is um Train Rides by Jimmy Haskell off the uh, Joyride soundtrack. Nice and awesome, I have to guess. 77. It's a lot later than that, 77. Yeah. This, uh, this is the film and the album. And as uh, Brian just told me, there is a picture of uh, Melanie Griffiths in a hot tub on the back. When she was young. When she was young and, uh, yeah. So good reason to buy the album. Yeah, that's right. Oh, nice track though. Yeah, wicked, wicked. Nice and cheap, cheap as chips as Chris would say. Um, about three, four quid. Actually, I was at a car boot sale this morning and they were filming Bargain Hunt there. Chris nearly got on it, I'm sure. Yeah, that's it. What's his name, play? No, I didn't see any of the presenters, but... Anyway, that's it from us this week. Uh, thanks again to Martin Lovegrove, Star Warrior, for the gunshot t-shirt. We will play some gunshot in the future. But before we go, we must mention that this Saturday is Record Store Day. Yeah, that's right. We yeah. are going to uh, get leave the shed. Leave the shed and go and represent. Yeah, we're going to pick up what we, uh, what we want off that list of uh, exclusives. Record Which Store probably Day. won't many, because by the time we get there, they're all gone, and all these people have gone in there and bought about 10 copies each. But yeah, but we'll try and get some footage, we'll uh, try and get to a few shops. Uh, we're not sure we haven't decided where yet, we were just discussing it, but we're definitely going to go. So, uh, yeah, tweet us and let us know what you pick up, and uh, we'll let you know what we pick up. Cool. Anyway, laters.